It was a seismic shift in Central Asia, the speed of which even the best intelligence agencies failed to predict. Is a Taliban takeover of Afghanistan now inevitable? No, it is not. After two decades in Afghanistan, the US-led mission withdrew its forces. The government it backed in Kabul collapsed and the Taliban moved into the capital. Taliban fighters behind uh, the desk of the presidential palace. As the Taliban had taken city after city, President Ashraf Ghani refused to acknowledge the crisis. Our security plan is clear. I don't want to discuss it in detail here. All I can say is that we have made all the preparations to put an end to this wave of insurrection in next six months and reach a state of stability. Less than two weeks after this address, Ghani fled the country. It was the final act of an unpopular leader criticized for promoting ethnic divisions and nepotism. Many Afghans say the Ghani government was the final nail in the coffin for the struggling republic. One is obviously legitimacy, and there are many fa components to legitimacy. One is just performance. Then there were actually issue of representations, um, how the government failed to include different segments of society. Then there are issues of outright corruption, uh, just predatory behavior by the political class. Many Afghans, like Haji Wahidullah, also blame the so-called war on terror for undermining the state. The U.S. and its allies fought most of that war in rural areas, including where Wahidullah lives. The Afghan government and U.S. forces conducted a lot of night operations here, and we know how they oppressed us and created such fear among normal people. Even talking about it makes you feel sad. These operations cause people to hate the government. There may now be a restive peace, but there's also a growing humanitarian crisis. And without international funding to prop up the state, the economy is collapsing. The Taliban has made the situation worse by forcing many women from their jobs. It's not fair to feel like a second-class gender. It makes you suicidal because it means you were born to simply be financially dependent on someone else and you're just nothing. Shagayeg Tawangar is one of Afghanistan's most promising young journalists. She says without women, any Taliban rule is illegitimate. I think Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan has no positive thinking when it comes to the activities of women, especially media. But still, I'm hopeful. The world is in progress and the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan have to be at the same level. As the sun sets on so many dreams, no other government has recognized the Taliban's legitimacy. But foreign policy is far from the minds of many Afghans, who are now simply trying to survive. They have a new government, a new reality, and an uncertain new year. Soraya Leni, TRT World, Kabul.